Techniques1200s.com, another video. This one is going to be because I have a ton of people asking me how to make their MK5, M3D, MK3D, M5G hingeable. They want to be able to have their dust cover with hinges and not just sit on and slide all over the place. So on the back of your dust cover, you're going to have rubber inserts. You're going to want to get hinges for the dust cover. So that's two male hinges. But the most confusing part for most people is this section where you have the female sockets, the plates on the back of your turntable, and of course the threaded bar in the back and your screws. So I'm just going to show you one side here. I'm sure you can just duplicate it for two. Most MK5s, M3Ds, MK3Ds, M5Gs, MK5G um, come with a plate that looks very similar to that. Two little holes in it. Sometimes no holes whatsoever. Most people that have these ones think they can just, well, put it on, put the female socket on if they buy that, and then put the screw in. And yes, you can thread this in, although this is not threaded, so you're probably going to really grind the screw in there until it stays. And yes, it does work. However, the problem that we're going to have is that anything like a dust cover, since it's plastic, is not truly flat. So you're going to have a little bit of a warp in most dust covers. It's plastic. It's not. A, it, there's tolerances. And because of that, when you sit it on the turntable, sometimes you get a corner on the front that lifts. And you can't figure out why. And the only way to fix that is by adjusting this. Now, since the holes are permanent holes, there's no adjusting. You can't lift this up and down to offset the front. So, what you need is the MK2 plates. This. So, see how you have the oval holes? So, I'll put it on for you and put it together for you. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. And you can understand how it works. Because understanding how it works is half the battle. And as I said, for example, on the MK5, it doesn't come with oval holes. It just comes with either the small holes there or no holes at all. No holes at all, obviously, you know you have to change the plate. If you have small holes, like the ones I showed you, some people try to force it. And when they force it, that's great. I mean, it might stay, but again, no room for adjustments. And you're going to need that because you're going to notice that if you have a dust cover, you have to make adjustments because, again, the dust cover, unfortunately, being plastic, is not true. So it's not going to be perfectly flat. You might have the odd one that is, but that's what I'm saying. It is odd. So I put this together. Now, say so you have your dust cover here, okay, and you hinge it on. This end, the front, might be up. To offset that, you have to bring this up. Now, how do you do that? Well, if you have the oval holes, you can slide it up, see? And then you just tighten it. Whereas the other one, you can't do this. So, if you're thinking of converting your non-hingeable turntable, such as an, MK, uh, an M3D, MK3D, MK5, M5G or MK5G, you're going to have to change the plate, the, sorry, the, yeah, the black plate. You're gonna have to get a threaded bar, you're going to have to get a female socket, and you're going to have to get two screws, and that's for each hinge. So you're going to have to get two of each, okay? And then, of course, the male dust cover hinges for the dust cover. But that's why you need this. That's why you need the oval holes on this plate. See, you can't adjust on this. There's no room. Where with the oval holes, you can slide it up and slide it down and then tighten accordingly to where you need it. Hope that explains everything, okay? There you go. Cheers.